weekend in Korea was Chuseok. Chuseok is like the biggest holiday in Korea. It's basically like um, Thanksgiving times 10. We went to my daughter's grandmother's house or my wife's mother's house or my mother-in-law's house, however you decide you wanna um, denominate her. We usually go there for three or four days and we have to kind of be prepared for everything. <laughs> like, because we don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, like my wife's family is kind of like this. Um, the first day we will say that we're gonna go play, um, say mini golf together. And then somehow while we're driving to the mini golf, we'll decide we wanna climb a mountain instead, which then means we have to be prepared for everything. So what I did was I packed everything. I normally don't pack this much, but I thought this would be an excellent opportunity to to try this bag, this is the Able Carry Max. Now, Able Carry sent this bag to me to try, and I can say that, man, this is a very, very nice bag. Now, it's it's big. Like, you can see my normal framing here. And uh, I'm filming at an awkward time today because of uh, the baby sleeping now, so it was the only opportunity I had. So there will be some weird shadows and stuff. I apologize for that. Uh, the Able Carry Max is a 30 liter backpack that feels big, like it's a large boy. Like you can see, she's large. Now, obviously this is not like a full, full out review because I've only used it for like a week, but I did use it for that entire trip. I used it as both my daily carry and as my travel bag. It's packed out exactly how I had it that day. Um, actually, in fact, I barely unpacked it since then. Uh, so most of what you see here will be what was in it at that time. Um, actually, all of what you see here will be what was in it at that time. So we'll talk a little bit about how I packed it out and about how it performed. Now, this is the Multicam Black version of the bag. Multicam Black um, is, this particular version is X50, it's called. Can you see that pattern there? That pattern is a... Uh, an X-Pack that's on the back of the bag. It's a 500D Cordura on the outside with a an X-Pack um, laminated onto the back of it. Uh, it feels very robust and very nice. It does pick up some hair and dust just like 500D normally does, but not a big deal for me. And I think this is by far the most handsome look of this bag. Although, you know, it really depends on, on yourself um, whether or not that works for you or not. It's kind of like positioned as a, a possible EDC, but then maybe a possible travel bag. So I think that that's the kind of point of view I took on it when I took it on this, this trip. I tried it in both. Now I'm a small guy. I will overlay a short video of me wearing the bag because I know that that's something that everybody has wanted to see. So here it is. And we're back and basically that was what this bag looks like. I wore it in what you'd call like full packed out mode. You can imagine in EDC mode it looks almost exactly the same because this bag is quite stiff so it doesn't it doesn't compress a lot. It kind of keeps its form and that's due to this X-Pack material which is stiff in general. Uh, I'm going to talk about the outside of the bag first. Now I know all of you are waiting to hear this. Yes it does stand up on its own. Voila. It leans a little bit, so perfectly straight would be like this, and it kind of does something like that. But I think it looks um, particularly good as it does that. There are, There is a top handle here, and there's webbing all along the edges of this bag, webbing here. There is a very nice side handle here, think kind of like Evergoods ask now the difference between this and the Evergoods one, well twofold, I think it's actually more comfortable than the Evergoods side handle. But I will say that it is um, definitely not as stiff. Now, because this is X-Pack, which is kind of stiff, it doesn't tend to flop too, too much. So you're pretty good on that front. Um, I'm going to show you the bottom of the bag quickly. They have this A-frame on the bottom of the bag, they call it, which is just kind of webbing with these very interesting stitches or bar tacks, I guess they're called. Box tacks? Box stitching? I don't know. You know what I'm saying. But they're kind of like... Um, uh, not your typical ones. Uh, these could be technically used as grab handles, I suppose. The main point of these is to keep the bag um, structured, and it does. It actually works for that. And it also helps with the bag standing up very well. So it's a weird one because it leans indefinitely. It always leans, but it always stands up. So, you know points for that. The harness system, I'm going to film a lot of the video like this because obviously it's too big to fit in the um, video this way. Uh, the harness system on this bag is very comfortable. It has some webbing here. Um, it has a, a nice little Able Carry uh, logo. 
You see that there, which is quite nice. It has more of that 500D here, and it does have a sternum strap included, which is a uh, Fidlock style, I think it's an Uj uh, maybe like a Wujin one, it's hard to see. I don't know, I can't, I can't see a maker, but it definitely, um, you know, it's your typical. I don't tend to like these very much because what happens to me is when I'm like in a cafe or something, they find themselves and I go to pick up the bag and I'm like this. So I think that if I was using this bag consistently, I would probably change this out for a normal one, which is quite easy because it's just a, uh, it's just one of these guys. It's just one of these guys, um, like on some webbing here. So not particularly difficult to do that if that's what you want. The straps are thick, as you can see, and they are quite, they're fairly wide. They are very comfortable in use. The straps kind of come to a point here. You see that? They come to a point here um, that's not, you know, here. Uh, this, this makes it quite sturdy, I believe, because normally this wing would be kind of sewn on, but in this case it's not. It's all part of this back panel here, and uh, the strap, the straps feel great. They feel great. There are no load lifters or anything, and this is borderline the size where I would want load lifters, but because the straps are lower than the top of the bag, I think it kind of works okay. The back panel of the bag, um, there is a luggage pass-through thing, which I would never use. I suppose you could use it as a handle if you needed to. It's the same material as the webbing. There are these two foam guys here. When we were um, climbing, actually I found this to be quite comfortable and the venting worked pretty well. This is all 1000D Cordura here. So basically it's that X50 um, where the bag, where you can see the bag, wherever it's that multicam color, and all this black would be 1000D Cordura where a lot of wear might occur. Where a lot of wear might occur. You get what I'm saying. The straps are also stitched in with those same box stitches here. Uh, as you can see on the top, there is this guy. Now I saw in other reviews where people were confused what this was. Um, I can tell right away when somebody's confused in a review um, about this that they're not a serious bag nerd because a serious bag nerd would know that this is where you would want to hang the bag uh, on your wall so that it hangs nicely. So thanks for that, Abel Carey. Bag nerds are happy with that decision. So basically, yeah, you just hang it here and then you don't warp your regular top handle when you are trying to hang it from a hook or something. You can just use this guy or if you're in a hotel or something, you can hang it from this hook. It's much easier because this one is near the middle of the bag as opposed to this being on the edge here. So I think that that is something that um, is very nice in use. Now, since we're up here, let's have a look at the laptop compartment quickly. Um, the laptop compartment's on the back. It has this AquaGuard um, YKK zipper. It's number eight. It opens in this sort of like half clamshell style. So it comes down to about here on this side and it goes all the way down on this side. There is more organization up here on the top where you could put something like your um, like SD cards or something if you're using this as a camera bag. It does zip up and kind of go away. The laptop sleeve is, is nice enough. You could put a giant laptop in there. I just have my 13 inch uh, MacBook Air in there. And there is a, another sleeve. I don't know if you can see that. I take my laptop out so you can see it a little bit better. So there is another sleeve here where you could put a tablet. The tablet sticks up pretty high, like to up here somewhere. And then there is a, uh, a sleeve here. You can put like your Apple Pencil or something like that. The zipper is smooth, has a nice track here, and that AquaGuard is highly appreciated. Um, there is another pocket on the back here, which is right here, and that would be like what you'd call like your safety pocket, I suppose. Uh, I kept my wallet in there. This is my uh, Wayfinder Daybreaker wallet, which is thin and nice and fits in there well. You, it's a perfect size for like, I mean, it's like the size of my whole hand and kind of goes to here. Easy for a passport and wallet or cash or something else if you want to keep pickpockets away from it. I think it's a very well done pocket. It hides nicely. Very difficult for a pickpocket to get in there. I don't live in a place where pickpockets are a thing, but if I were, then that's probably something that I would be worried about. So on this side of the bag, there is a handle here as I talked about and there is another pocket. The other pocket goes along the edge here, and uh, I mean, it's not super easy to see, but you can see that there. And basically what I have in there is my mask. Um, the pocket goes 
all the way down to the stitch point here and it goes all the way up to the stitch point and there are some uh, like a ladder thing here where you could attach a lanyard or something if you wanted to but uh, I just use it for my mask. Now there's one thing about this pocket that does bother me and that is that these zipper pulls and these zipper pulls tend to get bunched up and then I don't know which one I'm grabbing. I'm opening the laptop one and then instead I'm opening this one. I'm, I, it, it just, it gets slightly annoying. I wish almost the zipper pulls were different. Um, I'll probably swap these out for a different ones. I don't know if you can see that, but you've got like these zipper pulls here and then these zipper pulls here and it gets confusing. Uh, as you saw there also, these are lockable as are the main compartment. Um, and I don't know, it's not a big deal. These ones are shorter, these ones are longer. I suppose I could differentiate that way, but it's not easy for me um, because I end up with my zipper something like this. I do like that they added two zipper pulls here so you can open it from the top or the bottom. But the issue is like even just now, I grabbed the laptop one instead of this one. Again, not a big deal, but that's something that maybe for a V2 I would look at. Um, maybe or just to change out these zipper pulls to make it you know a little bit easier to uh, Navigate over there on the other side of the bag. We have a different pocket, which Is technically what you'd call a water bottle pocket now the thing is with this The bag is packed out for travel. So it is very 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 full now so this pocket tends to go into the bag because this pocket tends to go into the bag you don't end up with a lot of um, space in here during like you know when you're not using it but what I have found is you can just leave it like this and uh, let's see I don't have a bottle but I have this hand sanitizer which is gonna pretend to be a bottle and it will you could like kind of rock it like that on the outside does that make sense so you could kind of go like this uh, if the bag is fully packed out. And that's what I did actually with my wife's coffee while we were walking. I just had it out here on the outside and it worked perfectly fine like that. Now obviously it's not as elegant as, um, as zippering it up, but you know, it works. It works like that. So it will actually poof out this way to hold your bottle that way, or it'll go into the bag if you're in like daily carry mode, I suppose. Now there's only one more compartment left on the outside that we have not talked about, and that is this front slash pocket. Now I wanna make a quick note and say that this front slash pocket is uh, where it's on the right side for me, so I sling my bag off my right shoulder and I end up here. That means that this, this pocket and this pocket is, are oriented in the right location. The, for me, the right location for me. Other people will disagree with that, but for me, that is the location I enjoy. The, uh, the Evergoods bags, for example, are on the other side, so you have to sling off your left shoulder. I find that very, very difficult, so I'm very happy it's on this side here. Now, unlike the Evergoods bags, there, are, there isn't a lot of volume in this front pocket, but I tend to not need it uh, a whole lot. So this zipper only has one um, zipper pull, and it, it runs like that, and then the pocket looks something like this. So what you end up with is a, a small kind of sleeve pocket here, which is elastic -y. And then a bigger one here, which is like, let's see if I can attempt to show this to you. So basically it's this whole side until here-ish. So we're talking like this and it is an elastic pocket. And you could technically use the space all the way down to the bottom here and all the way up to the top here. That is all open for you on both sides. There is space over here as well. So basically this whole seam here would be a pocket, although it is a very flat pocket like think like GR1 front pocket filling, although I do like this here. Now some people have complained, they wish this was this way oriented. I don't agree, I kinda like it like this because this stuff has no chance of falling out when I'm walking around, which I, I, I appreciate. Often with bags where it's like this, unless there's a zipper, um, even this elastic stuff, I think things like this knife that I have in here, see how easy that is to pull out, that would easily fall out if the bag was oriented the other way. Um, and then you end up, I don't know, just for me it works. And then there is this ladder here that goes on up, and then there is a key lanyard inside, which is uh, movable, you can move it all the way along here, and you can also move it to the side pocket there if you wish. And I have my keys attached to it, and they fit perfectly fine in there. Now, the front zipper, there you go. So that's it for the outside of the bag, and I mean, holy cow, we're 16 minutes in, my camera battery is dying, it's not super bright in here, but I'm, I'm soldiering on. I am soldiering on, okay? Or some such. 
Now, the main compartment is a, a sort of clamshell. It opens to about here, so it's not technically a complete clamshell, but it works enough like a clamshell. I think anybody who doesn't think this is a clamshell is just kind of being pedantic. I mean, uh, for me, like going all the way down the bottom is not a huge, huge deal. It's clamshell enough for packing, I think. These uh, front zippers are very nice, chunky YKK number 10s with a uh, lockable mechanism there when they're together. They are smooth, as you can see, very smooth. And then the main compartment opens like this. There is about this much space under where this flap goes, which I'll show you in a second. I will talk about the flap first. So on this flap, there is a, um, a kind of an opaque pocket here, which uh, this liner is this very nice ripstop, and it, it feels good. Like one of the better feeling liners I've felt. I like it in this color with the multicam and this kind of like 50-50 gray. It's different colors in each bag, so when you're picking your color, uh, make sure you decide you know based on, on that and be a bit careful with it. Uh, I just have some headphones in there. And there is a mesh pocket down here. The mesh pocket is, it, the mesh feels kind of intense. It doesn't look very intense when you look at it here, but it's somewhere between a Goruck and a Bellroy mesh, if you are a bag nerd enough to know what that means. Otherwise, just think it's nice enough. There is a pleat down here at the bottom, so this pocket can have its own volume somewhat if you need it to. Uh, I didn't tend to use it very much because I don't tend to use those pockets a lot. Inside the bag, this is exactly how I had it packed out. So this is a Goruck Wired Up, one of my favorite accessories in the world because it does so much. It has become the diaper holder emergency baby bag, three or four diapers here, uh, hand wipes here. Um, what are those things called? Like uh, Huggies, uh, something, wet wipes. And then there are a pair of socks and then my daughter's like kind of medical book there in case something happens, which, you know, you never know with a baby. And yeah, that lives on top. I love this accessory because it's so flat, it fits on there perfectly well. Uh, this is also from Able Carry, and this is one of the coolest things I own, I think, and it is an Able Carry cooler. Now, inside here is just a couple of bottles, and and but I think I took them out, actually. See? Oh yeah, so they're out now because we had used them, but I just had a bottle here, a bottle here, and then some formula uh, in a package there. And this thing works worked really well. It was like a lifesaver. I used it for that. I used it for sandwiches when we went on a trip. Um, with my baby uh, or when we were climbing I had like sandwich here and you know it just it worked great it has a very nice handle it has um, these little connection points where you can attach a strap it has an aqua guard zipper it has this very lovely RVX um, 25 X pack uh, blaze orange and just a very cool cool thing uh, this is a community edition cooler but you can buy the coolers um, you know, you can't. I, th I think that you will be able to buy this at some point soon, but you cannot buy it at the moment, um, or I could be wrong about that, depending on when this video goes live. I'll tell you, this is one of the most versatile things I ever got. I won it in a karyology contest, and it's been absolutely amazing. Thank you, Able Carry. This is a niche thing that was needed that not a lot of people are making. So, good on you, kids. Uh, full review actually on that coming up. Uh, this is the other parts of the bag that I had packed out. So. Uh, in this Evergoods CAP, um, I believe it's called the egg in this colorway, or fire egg or some such thing. Uh, I just have my tech gear in there, and that is it. Inside this Dan Matsuda dragon scale pouch, I just have my camera, so my Leica fits in there very well. I'm not going to go over everything in there because I have a video on those two coming up at some point. So, But yeah, I mean, it fits in there nicely. Very nice pouch. Like... Oh, nice. And then finally, I have a Goruck um, packing cube. I know these are hard to find these days, but it is a full clamshell packing cube, which I find very useful. You can kind of hold it like this and tote it around. You can have it, um, you can pack it like say something like this and have something on top of it. Or in this case, the bag is big enough that I can just shove it down here. There is a field thing. Yes, it's made in Vietnam. Somebody asked me in the last thing. I don't think that matters a whole lot. Um, it is a probably my favorite packing cube on earth. I hope they bring them back at some point. I don't know if they will or not, but go ruck. This is a 10 liter one. And uh, yeah, that's it for that. Inside the bag, 
basically you're looking at uh, not a whole lot going on. Uh, there is that same ripstop nylon here. This is the inside of that bottle pocket, so it goes something like this into the bag, or it lies flat against the edge if you're not using it. On this side, there is a like another kind of water bottle pocket thing that you could have a water bottle in if you want to. It's just a mesh, uh, a stretch mesh thing. There are like these kind of hooking points all along the edge here. It's really hard to see. Let me see if I can show you. You see those hooking points all along the edge there, and then there are also these hooking points all along the edge. So you can actually customize this bag any which way you want and have things any which way you want and it works perfectly great for all of it. Um, that's basically it. I mean, there's not a whole lot else to talk about. All I'm gonna say is that's how I had it packed out for the trip. So I had clothes and uh, camera, tech. Uh, I was gonna say, my because there's only a couple of days, my toiletries are in a small pouch in there. And that's basically it. This is this is the Able Carry Max backpack and how it packed out for a four or five day trip. I think this is one of the coolest travel bags you can get. Now unpacked, you can see it's still kind of moofy. It's it's not small, but you could you could sort of like kind of push it down and get away with it. If I was a big framed guy, like if I was bigger, like taller, I mean. Um, I think that I could easily use this as daily carry and love it. It's a very nice bag. Uh, probably one of my favorite bags I've tried in a while and it's definitely, definitely probably my favorite minimal travel bag that I've tried in a while. Um, it's, it's, it's like, of course I love the, the GORUCK GR2 26 liter. This is definitely bigger than that. So I think like, th this would be like in the next category of big. This stuff would have a, sh like would be a struggle to fit in that bag. So a very nice bag here by Able Carry, 260 bucks um, in this colorway. I'll have a link to it down below, check it out. It's not an affiliate link or anything. So, you know, just kind of go ham and, and get it. Um, but maybe be sure to tell the guys where you saw it just so that they know that it made sense to let me try it out. I'm very happy to have used it and I will continue to use it um, for trips and the like. Also, don't sleep on this. This is very cool. I am uh, trying my best to get these videos out as best as I can uh, with the baby and all that. Um, things happen like this, this lighting is not ideal, but you know, I did what I could do and with the time I had. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. It'll only get better from here. Talk soon kids. Bye bye.